them, but you're looking to help. Because what ends up happening is if you're looking to help someone, that good fortune is going to come back on you. Okay? You can call it karma, you can call it the law of reciprocity, you can call it you owe me one. But as you're interacting, people commonly will say, wow, you know what? You gave me a piece of information that helps me in my career. You introduced me to someone who might be able to help me land my next position. What can I do for you? I, I, I gotta be able to do something for you. you know? I mean, I mean, it's not like it's a holiday where cash works. You know, cash always works, right? Everybody, call, everybody loves the color, it always fits. You can't just say, that's poor form. But what you can do is engage them in a conversation. Well, let's have another conversation. I don't know. Let's get together. You know, I'll hit you up, and we'll figure this out. We can talk again. But you have that kind of connection so that you are able to maintain that kind of communication. So the other thing you want to take, another tool you want to have in your pocket, is a couple of questions. Because we're engaging in the conversation, and then we're going to listen. There's an old saying, um, you find it in sales, you also find it in human resources, in interviewing. He who speaks the most loses. He who speaks the most loses. So you want to do more listening than speaking. And the best way to do that is have questions. And then you want to talk about them. You want them to talk and feel good about it. Wow, that was a great conversation. We talked about me the whole time, and I'm just great. And this person made me feel great. I'm going to have good memories of them. So what you want to end up doing is bring a couple of questions with you. First up, three is a good number. You want to have open-ended questions. Who knows what an open-ended question is? Questions require yes or no? Yes or no requires elaboration? Yes, that's exactly what it is. I heard something here, and the gentleman here was very clear and lucid. So I'm not going to send you out. Thank you. Yeah, it's a question you can't answer with a yes or no. Okay? It's a question you can't answer with a yes or no. So you have to elaborate. Okay, so in that case, you have to listen, because they'll give you the information. Lord Chesterfield of England, he was a merchant, an early merchant, um, one of the early capitalists uh, of the modern, or not even the modern era, going back into the 1700s, back when Europe was running the world. Lord Chesterfield said over 200 years ago, patience is the most important and necessary quality for business. Many a man would rather you hear his story than grant his request. Patience is a necessary quality of business. Many a man would rather you hear his story then grant his wish, wishes. That was true 200 years ago. That is true today. 